Hello students. So today in our lecture of quantum mechanics, what we will learn about the infinite square wave functions and the energy eigenvalues. In the last lecture, we have seen how to solve the time independent Schrodinger equation for the infinite square wave potential. What are the particular results? What is the energy of the particle? And what does the wavelength or k? How it is related to the size of the box or size width of the wheel? The height is infinite means the potential is infinite height. It is something like a, a well where you don't know how much deep it is. If, and if someone unfortunately falls in that well, it is very impossible to get out. So what we obtained in the last lecture is a relation between this k which is wavelength, inverse of wavelength and the dimension of the box. This is the result that we have obtained in the last lecture. This is the relation. This relation defines that the wave, wave number is re related to the width of the box by this relation and n is an integer. Now for n equal to 1, 2, g and so on, all integral values, we have different physical meanings. What are the physical meanings? So in order to understand the physical meanings, physical meaning of for uh, that uh, occur for different values of n. We first need to understand what is this equation saying? What is the meaning of this equation? This equation, it implies that the waves are quantized because there is an integer n wherever you see a physical quantity like wavelength or energy or wavelength, energy, frequency, whatever. And it is depending on some quantity, on some integral value, integer number. This is a quantization in simple terms. So I am writing this thing here. Whenever a physical quantity like uh, wavelength, that physical quantity means that can be measured. Physical quantity like wavelength energy, momentum, energy, momentum is dependent on or it is a function of the integral quantity dependent on or it is a function of some integer n then it is quantization then it is quantization this phenomenon is called quantization. The first quantization rule that you study in the course of physics is when you study electrostatics and you study that Q is equal to N times T. Charge on a body is equal to the number of electrons times the electronic charge. So this equation implies that the waves are quantized or you can say the momentum is quantized because the waves, the wavelength is related to the momentum by this relation H by P. Now this situation is very similar to something like uh, that in acoustics so when you study the waves in a flu fluke or in a closed organ pipe. These waves are fitting inside the well and the integers N determine how much they are fitting, how they are fitting, what is the shape of the waves inside the box or inside the wheel? What is the shape or you can say the equation, the equation kn is equal to n pi by a determines how the waves or you can say what is the shape of the waves what is the shape of the waves inside the box shape of the wave inside the box 
this is the relation and uh, you can uh, relate this thing to the waves that are occurring inside a fruit or inside uh, a closed organ pipe i will show you by example so for different values of n the wave waves fit to different extents inside the box there are different shapes and each of these shapes they determine the different states of the particle in terms of energy in terms of energy because k is related to the energy of the particle we have seen this thing that k is equal to root under 2 me by h bar it is related to energy and this is the this is the relation same relation is for momentum you can relate this thing lambda is equal to h by p this quantity is p so this is inverse of momentum inverse of wavelength so each value of m each value of m determines determines the state of the particle how how you can define the state of the particle state of the particle in terms of energy particle in terms of energy the lowest energy state the excited energy all these things you can define now we can now let us see for some values of n what is the situation physically so let us see this diagram this is how this is showing the waves inside the box waves inside the box inside the box now in acoustics or in waves and oscillation chapter you must have studied the closed organ pipe or the flute and you have studied the concepts of harmonics first harmonic second harmonics all these things you have studied so the situation is similar there are different states there are different conditions for which we get different musics or different sounds in a flute or in a closed organ pipe so this this diagram can be easily related with this diagram so this is the you can say the quantum mechanical flow or uh, let me paste the diagram over here itself so that you can relate so this is the classical situation that you have studied this is the classical situation and here it is the quantum mechanical situation you can see here for lambda equal to 2n We you have f is equal to v by lambda v by nu by two f f naught. This is the fundamental for lambda equal to n. You have second harmonic. <coughs> so the same thing it is occurring in this case also in the case of a particle in the finite square wave. The different values of lambda of the different states are defined by this wave number k. In this derivation. i am talking about this derivation the closed organ pipe you also get a similar relation a relation between the wavelength and the size of the flute or the length of the flute or the organ pipe so this one you call it the fundamental harmonic the same thing we will observe here also so let us see the situation for state equal n equal to 1 you have k1 pi by a and if you check this relation k1 is equal to pi by a and k is equal to 2 pi by lambda you can equate them and this is lambda is equal to 2 now you can see this relation lambda is equal to 2 and this is the closed organ pi or the flow closed organ pi or flow a musical instrument so this situation gives a particular type of sound particular type of sound in this case you are not getting a sound but you are getting a particular state here it is lambda is equal to 2 times a the there and here it is lambda is equal to 2a you can see you can relate the things they are same the equations are same and this is the fundamental harmonic or this is the fundamental note 
in the case of fruit or the closed organ pie and here you have this sort of a relation so here what you observed i have told you before also that this relation is a relation between the wavelength and the part and the size of the box this is also similar to the diffraction in wave optics where the wavelength is related to the size of the obstacle so this thing you are getting so in this case when you have lambda equal to n equal to 1 the wave is something like this inside the wave this is the oscillating wave this is the wave inside the box inside the box this is the situation for n equal to 1 now let us see what is n equal to 2 you put n equal to 2 in this equation and it will be lambda equal to a 2 pi by a is equal to 2 pi by lambda k is wave number and lambda equal to a and you see here this is the second harmonic lambda is equal to a in case of a fluid and the frequency is 2 times f naught the frequency is 2 times <coughs> the fundamental mode here also you get the frequency 2 times you will get the frequency 2 times the fundamental mode the case fundamental mode means the case for n equal to 1 and here you can see that the wave is intersecting the x axis or the horizontal axis one times so this is the second harmonic for n equal to 3 you can see that the wave is cutting or intersecting the 3 the x axis at two points and here also you can see the lambda the lambda relation for lambda and it is 3 f naught 2 by 3 n this is 2 a by 3 the same relation is here so you can say in case of infinite square wave well, the different values of lambda are giving rise to different kinds of music or different kinds of sound but you cannot hear that sound. this relates to the energy of the particle energy of the system and as the value of n increases the frequency increases as the value of n increases the frequency increases the frequency increases so this is the relation between n and the the size of the box so the size of the box x is equal in now in this case we have wave function and we are in a different region we are in the region of quantum mechanics not in the classical case the size of the box x equal to a does not help in finding the normalization constant because at x equal to a the wave function is zero the particle is not staying at x equal to a or at x equal to zero it is oscillating between these two ends and our wave function we have evaluated this is the wave function we have to determine this quantity a and the, the only process to determine this is the normalization process so let us see how we can normalize this how we can find a now the quantized energies have to be found in the form of the wave number and this is the relation that we have obtained in the last case so solving this what you obtain this is the energy relation for different values of n the energies are different each value of n defines a particular state of the particle inside the box in terms of energy so n equal to 1 because n cannot be 0 n equal to 1 is the lowest energy state or the ground state is the lowest energy state or the ground state all energies all values of n all values of n greater than 1 define higher energy or excited states define the higher energies or excited states excited states they are higher energy states or excited states 
Now in the case of classical mechanics, the particle can have any value of energy inside the infinite potential when you must have studied the classical case in two situations in physics. One is in standard 11 or 12 in the mechanics section work energy power or in BSc in mechanics you have must have studied or in the case of mathematics in the paper for mathematics in statics and dynamics. In that situation, the main concern, the main result is that the particle can have any value of energy inside the potential well. There is no choice. However, in the case of quantum mechanical situation or in the quantum mechanical picture, the particle has de definite or discrete energies and this is why we say that quantum mechani mechanically the energy is quantized because it is depending on this number L. Well, as I told you in the previous page that in whenever any physical quantity like energy, momentum or wavelength, it depends on some integral quantity, it changes with a number, then it is called quantization and this is how you are getting quantization. Now, our next concern is to normalize the wave function so that we can find the constant A that we defined here in the last uh, page. Now, normalization is simple. You can Integrate the probability density from 0 to A because we have limit in the 0 to A. The particle is inside a region whose extension is from x equal to 0 to x equal to A. And this is the particle that is oscillating in between. You measure, you integrate the wave function and we have obtained the wave function as A is equal to sin m pi x by A. And this integration is not very difficult. You find that the quantity A is root under 2 by A. So our final wave function is for the particle in infinite square wave, the wave function is root under 2 by A sin n pi x by A. Now n equal to A. Now let us see some, uh, check some mathematical results. n equal to 1, we are considering the ground state. We are considering the ground state. Suppose x equal to A. So x equal to a. So what to, this will be? What this will result? Sin n n is one pi a by a. So this will be the result. And you can evaluate it. You can find it. That what will be the situation for psi x? Now it is a task for you. If you wish, you can perform the calculation. And find out that for x equal to a, psi will be 0, x equal to 0, psi will be 0. And you can tell me in the comment section for which value of x the psi is maximum. Now we come to a very important quantity or important uh, theory in quantum mechanics that is orthogonality. Now let me explain in the most simple way. You have studied mathematics and orthogonality or orthogonal, this word, is related to something which is related, which, which implies perpendicularity. Orthogonal related to perpendicular or where the angular relation is 90 degree. Angular relation 90 degree. This is the thing that is related to this word orthogonal. Now to understand orthogonality for this wave function, let me tell you or let me revise a very simple concept in mathematical algebra. That is the dot product. That is the dot product. You must have studied dot product and vector product in uh, mathematics in vector algebra. And it is very simple to understand that a dot b is a b cos theta. If theta is 0, means a or b are, are in the same direction, this is equal to a b. If theta equal to 90, this dot product is 0. This is a very basic concept that you have studied and I think almost all of you know this. Now I will make use of this relation. Now the orthogonality, mathematical expression for orthogonality is this condition. It is integral, of course you have the limit, suppose it is 0 to A if we are considering the particle in an square wave. 
साइन एम एक्स स्टार साइन एम एक्स डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो व्हेन एम इज नॉट इक्वल टू एन दिस इज द ऑर्थोगोनालिटी कंडीशन नाउ साइन एम एंड साइन एन नाउ लेट अस सी व्हाट दिस एक्सप्रेशंस आर इट विल बी बेटर इट विल बी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू हैव साइन एम एक्स एंड साइन एन एक्स means m and n are different integers m and n are different integers this that this is clear in the diagram psi m star x is the complex conjugate complex conjugate for Psi m. If you have a function or eigen function psi m x, it's complex conjugate of psi m star. This is also very clear. Now, in this expression, suppose m is equal to n. If m is equal to n, then our integral becomes zero to a psi n star x. Psi n x dx and this is nothing but the normalization condition and we have studied in that normalization concept that this is equal to one. So what does this physically mean? Physically, it means that the integral that we are considering here it will be one only when we are considering the same state. Means this is similar to saying that. A dot B will be equal to one, or it will be equal to A B if theta is equal to zero. A and B are along the same direction. Are along the same direction. This is the case for directions. In this case, if m is equal to n, then we are considering the same state. The same state or along the same direction, you can say the the eigen function psi n and its complex conjugate both are psi n, so we are considering the same state. <coughs> so, but in case if m is not equal to n, then we are considering different situations. We are considering different states. So, if you are taking this integral in different states, for different states, it will be zero. This is the physical meaning. Now, if you are asked in many situations in the university exam, it is asked to evaluate or to find out this orthogonality condition. You can do this easily because it involves simple integrals and simple equations. So, let us say you write say m x. This will be say this quantity. We have function the only difference is that this is m and this is n. Now you have it. If you have it, this integral, you will write both the values and you can solve this in integral by trigonometric method, and you can break it in terms of cosine function. So this is a very simple trigonometric relation that you must have studied in your mathematics, and this comes out to be this situation. This is the integral. You can evaluate it, and if you find some problem, you can tell me. I will send you the text or the written explanation in the Telegram or WhatsApp group. Now you see, if m is equal to n, then this quantity denominator will be zero, and it will be infinite. Infinite means if the integral. If now try to understand this, relate the, these, these things. If this integral is infinite, because m is equal to n, then it means the whole function is non-normalizable. It is diverging, and physically this quantity, this situation is not acceptable. Why it is not acceptable? Because we don't have a free particle over here. Our particle is confined inside a box. So, if m is equal to n, the denominator will be zero in the integral. Will be zero, or in the result, that physically implies that physically implies that 
द वेब फंक्शन विल बी नॉन नॉर्मलाइजेबल फंक्शन विल बी नॉन नॉर्मलाइजेबल एक्ट इज सिमिलर टू द फ्री पार्टिकल बट दिस इज नॉट फिजिकली एक्सेप्टेबल because our particle is not a free particle although the potential inside it is we have a infinite potential and the particle is confined in a particular region so we don't have a free particle our wave function has to be normalized but in this case the particle is restricted to move inside a region inside a region so it has to be normalized it is the requirement that it is, it should be normalized it has to be normalized so this result forces us to conduct the condition that m should equal should not be equal to n now this orthogonality condition when combined with normality no normalization psi m s psi n s star x psi n x dx equal to 1 gives the orthogonality and combining these uh, uh, conditions we have a single mathematical statement psi m x star is equal to psi n x dx is del m n x del m n del m n is called kronecker delta Kronecker delta. This Kronecker delta has the property that f if m is equal to n, then m n is equal to one, and if m is not equal to n, then m n is zero. So this single function takes it is like the operator or it is like a device that checks if m is a m and n are equal, it will be equal to one. It will switch to one. and it if it is not equal to n it will switch to zero now this is very interesting this kronecker delta is very interesting you must be studying that uh, digital electronics and this is uh, in a crude sense it is similar to this situation one and zero there can be no other value that is why it is called orthonormality if the two wave functions are for the same states then automatically it will switch to one and for any other value it will be zero suppose m and n are they should be integers suppose if they are not integers and they are differing by, by a very small value even then <coughs> this quantity will be zero so this kronecker delta is like the quantum mechanical switch that defines discretely two states one is the situation when the orthonormalization is there for same state and if it is zero if this integral is zero we can immediately reach to the conclusion that m and n are not similar not same so this del mn is like a switch or you can say better a detector that checks whether the integral for orthonormalization integral is for same states or different states or different states physically if i explain this situation let me show you by a diagram suppose this is psi n now if you are psi if you are taking the integral over psi, and this is psi n star the integral psi n star so this is n psi n dx x is all, always there it is understood it will be equal to 
but the moment psi n is suppose psi n is this and psi m star means you are deviating from this state and suppose this is deviating very by a very small angle this is psi m star the integral will be zero this is the situation that is explained that is described by the orthonormality situation i hope the concept is clear to you if it is if you have some question you can ask me in the comment section now the completeness is another fundamental property of wave functions the wave functions are complete in the sense that any function can be expressed as a linear combination of the eigenvalues we have studied this in the preliminary course so fx if it is a function it can be expressed as the linear combination of the wave functions with these constants we will understand what are these constants and what is the physical meaning so for particle in infinite square wave you can write psi nx as psi n pi x by a now we have a very important uh, quantity here fourier trick and bridgelet's condition i am not going to the details of the fourier method this condition this trick or the bridgelet condition it is used to find the coefficients of the wave function how you can find the coefficients of the wave function you can take this integral <coughs> and use the integral for orthonormality that we have discussed right now and what does this integral say it says simply it is equal to del mn if m is equal to n it will be 1 if m is not equal to n it is equal to 0 now this whole quantity it can be written as a single quantity cm now what does this constant tell you what are the what is the physical meaning the physical meaning is that these constant cm they describe the weight or the contribution for each state in the function for example we have written here summation n equal to 1 to infinity cn psi nx each cm each cm for example n equal to 1 we have c1 psi 1x c1 tells us how much contribution how much contribution or in terms of statistics or what is the weight what is the weight of psi 1 in fx now suppose if you write it as a combination of or it is a, a, a linear combination of two functions suppose it is psi 2 psi 2 pi x by a and you have c1 psi 1 psi pi x by a c1 and c2 or c2 or c1 c2 and c1 describe the contribution of the contribution of psi 1 and psi 2 in fx the total wave function or total function what is the contribution so this is a very important factor the evaluation of these constants now to find the stationary states what we have to do we inject we simply inject the time dependent factor e to the power i omega t and we have seen in the stationary state formalism this is equal to e e to the power i omega t or e to the power minus i e t by h bar now e is n pi e is the it is somewhat congested here so i am writing it here n by n square pi h bar square pi square by 2 ma square so you can put this function you can inject this quantity and you can find the time evolution how does it evolve in time in uh, this uh, condition or the stationary states they are stationary states because when you will find the probability density this one will cancel with the complex conjugate and you will be left with this function only i have told you in the stationary state lecture you can watch that lecture. 
So this is all we have for the infinite square well potential. We will see some numerical problems. And the most important thing that we will study in the further in this section is how energy, how energy conservation holds in, holds in the quantum mechanical case, quantum mechanical Yes. Energy conservation, I have told you some physical quantities, energy, momentum, they have mass, they have to be conserved in any situation, whether it is quantum mechanical or whether it is classical. Now, how energy conservation is valid in the quantum mechanical picture, we will see it this in the next lecture. For the time being, please watch the videos, like, share and subscribe. I have told you many times, this is for your benefit, I will provide you the PDF notes after some formatting. So please cooperate, that will help me and that will help you also. Thank you.